While the vaccine for COVID-19 was probably developed the fastest at the height of the pandemic, the two companies responsible for it, Moderna and BioNTech, are still embroiled in a stiff lawsuit. The litigation is important because it determines access to mRNA technologies for future vaccines against influenza and cancer, among several others. After a year of making millions, Moderna struck with a patent infringement suit against Pfizer-BioNTech last month. Moderna developed the Spikevax vaccine, while BioNTech developed Comirnaty in collaboration with Pfizer Incorporated. Moderna has claimed patent infringement on its delivery system, the way in which a drug reaches the recipient's cells and generates the protein. Moderna claims it filed patents for this between 2010 and 2016, which their competitor has allegedly copied. Moderna is using the mRNA technology to prevent and treat autoimmune and cardiovascular diseases, influenza, HIV and rare forms of cancer. But the company was late in getting the mRNA patents itself that were passed as groundbreaking. So, patent lawsuits are tricky because mRNA has been in development since the 1980s and many claims were made along the way. Canada's Arbutus Biopharma filed a case three years ago against Moderna for infringing its intellectual property of lipid nanoparticle technology, which delivers mRNA into human bodies and is yet to be resolved. Two academics, Catalin Perico and Drew Weissman, also patented the mRNA technology six years before Moderna. Carico is currently the senior vice president at BioNTech. After the US Food and Drug Administration approved the technology in December 2020, both companies made profits with this single product. Moderna made profits of $12.2 billion in 2021 and Pfizer-BioNTech made $22 billion on its entire portfolio. Moderna has excluded names of researchers from the US National Institutes of Health in the patent claims it has filed. Regular patent claims are hazardous to global health, not only because it increases the transaction costs of technologies, but also discourages innovation that might come about by combining technologies if they were broad patents.